What it do, Jules Crew? What it do, what it do, what it do? Your girl is back. Back. Hey, with another video. Yeah, but before we get into the video, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with everybody and anybody that's anybody on anybody, period. Period. So, as y'all see in that title, we are... First of all, first of all, on period, this is what, October 13th. My brother's birthday is tomorrow on the 14th. My birthday is Thursday on the 15th, boo, period, period, poop, period. Yes, me and my brother are a day apart, but we are three years apart. His birthday, October 14th, mine, October 15th. We the only two, period. Get with it. So I'm gonna do some birthday vlogs. On my actual birthday, then I'm going to do when I go to the casino this weekend with the family and some friends, probably. I'm going to just turn up. But anyways, back to the regular schedule. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining my personal reasons on why I got surgery. This is my reasons on why I got surgery. Um, nobody else's, um, cause a lot of people ask me like, why did you get it? Why did you choose your doctor? Who, um, what was your reasonings and stuff like that? So might as well do a video on it. A little sit down video. Yeah. And I'm moving. So I'm going to be doing like my apartment tour and my furnished tour and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Lit, lit, lit coming. Anyway, so, um, my reasonings for getting surgery and what actually made me go through with it. Because I also get a lot of people that ask, like, oh, I had a set date and then I canceled it because I know if I fully want to go through with it or did you have any complications and stuff like that. So, um... I, I've always been the thicker girl. Um, and my, like, with my friends and everything like that. And, you know, growing up sometimes, kids is brutal. And they all they do is talk about people who do, do. So sometimes it used to get to me. It did. Um, I used to be that type. And I still am, and I'm trying to get over it, that actually cares about what people say and how they feel. Um, but as I got older, like around now, I'm starting to figure out, like, you can't please everybody. So you might as well just please yourself, if anything, and do something that you wanted to do. Now, I know I wanted some type of surgery. Now, at first, I was going to go and get the sleeve. Um the lap band the band put over my stomach or whatever um i also wanted to make sure i was getting something that one was still going to be safe for my body so that i could still have kids because i haven't I, ha I don't have any kids right now so i wanted to make sure something was not gonna do something to my body to the fact that i couldn't have kids after that so i just did my research and i was gonna get the lap band First, I was gonna get the balloon put in my stomach and it lasts for like six months and like your appetite or whatever. Then I was gonna get the lap band. And on both sides of my family, they're all, majority of them are thicker people. On my mom's side, they got the hips. Either you have a big old booty, you have big boobs, you got curves. On my dad's side, they bigger people, a lot of them. Um, you also have your skinny people and you have your slim thicks, but you also have your thick people that we like to eat and we'll do the loop. So it was like on both sides of the family, there are thicker people. So, and then my parents aren't just, they're not skinny. So it's like, it's just there. It's just there. But I just kept, at first, um, in high school, I lost a lot of weight. But I did not do it the right way at all. Um, I wasn't eating like 
at all. So it was making it difficult for me to, no, it was easy at the time. I made do at the time I lost 45 pounds and I got down to like 140 something. Um, then I went to college after that and I had my boyfriend and we was just going out and I was cooking and I was eating and I was stressed because of school and all that stuff. I just, it just came back and it just came back and it kept growing and it kept growing. But it was growing in still the right places. Like, I still got my hips. Still got my hips. Because I didn't really have hips before. Before I was just chubby. And now when I got thicker, I got thicker in the right places on period. Period poop. Anyway, so then um, I used to watch videos of BBL and I'm like, I'm not about to get that. Like, maybe I'll get that when I get older and stuff like that. But then I was at on a work trip. I was at a work trip in Phoenix. And my mama sent me a picture of my cousin that had just had surgery. And I was like, dang, I know she had, you know, a few kids. And she was, her stomach was thicker. I mean, you know, chubby. And I know my stomach was Probably a little smaller than her at the time. I was like, then she, you got you to add some booty to it. I said, okay. I said, dang, how much she paid? Because I've been saving up for my own place. I said, how much she paid? It was like 2400 I said, what? You say who? 2000 two, 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 two? I said, send me a contact information. And then talking to my family, a lot of them was like, don't get the lap band. I know, because personally, I do know people that it has done something to. Like, it erupted. It did something. They had to go into emergency surgery. Like, the stuff went wrong. Or they just gained it back right after. Like, they'll get really small, and then all the way to come back. Which, that can happen with any, any of them. Anything, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do to keep the weight off. So, I do it. Um, and that same day they sent me the information. I was at work. I was, I don't know if I had just got back, but I probably didn't because I probably ain't go yet because I was going at two. And I booked it. I was sitting up there thinking like, what will my dad want me to do? Because that's my, if anything, if anybody can try to hold me back from something, my daddy can have a bigger influence on me than anybody because I really care about what my daddy feels because we're like the same person mentally so but at the same time I was like listen what do you want for you because you all you don't want to be skinny you don't want to be skinny this will be able to proportion your body even more than it already is and put it in the right places it's a transfer boo it ain't fake it's my fat why not? And it's cheaper than the other surgeries that you were going to get. And you can afford it and you can just pay cash. So, I was like, let me do it. So, I texted the lady. I, I filled out my forms. Well, fill out my forms. I texted the lady. I gave her my deposit through Cash App. Yes. 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 I gave her my deposit through Cash App. That's how I paid my stuff. And, um... I was sketchy about that at first, so I had to call my cousin and be like, did you pay through Cash App? Because that, that list is for sure for me. Um, then I looked him up on Facebook. He don't have a lot of social media, you guys. He don't. He have Facebook, and he has, like, private groups. Like, again, y'all can uh, DM me on either uh, Instagram or you can message me on Facebook saying what you want because some people message me and they be talking about income and I don't be answering back to them. So you have this specifically say like you want to get added to the group uh dr martin castillo's group and i'll send you his information and a coordinator to get in contact with then it was my real deciding factor i work in a lab so in order they do for this doctor you do your result you do your test um you get your test ran the same day of surgery but for me, that wasn't going to work because if something was to be messed up, I was just going to drive all that way for nothing. That wasn't going to work. So I went to my job while I was at work and I got the test. 
that I needed and I got my result I got my test done after my job. So I prayed that night and I told God me, I prayed. I didn't say you had to pray. I prayed and I asked God, I said, if you don't approve of me going through with this surgery and you don't want me to do it, let something on my test results come back that I need to improve on something or like the numbers aren't where they're supposed to be for me to be in good standing to have the surgery. If you're okay with my decision on doing something that I want to my own body, then let everything come back okay. Um, and this was this was like the pressure part because I got my test done. My got my test done. My blood and stuff pulled on Tuesday. Wednesday they had the results, but I couldn't see them on the computer, and my boss wasn't going to pull them. So it was telling me I had to wait till Friday to go um, to actually see the results because they said the doctor have to get them first, and then you can see them after that. So I got it done Tuesday, and I knew they were there Wednesday, but I still had to wait till Friday. So those were the longest days like ever, I'm trying to see like, okay, so is my stuff right? Is it wrong? God, you want me to do this? You want me to not? Just send me a sign. So that Friday came, I went to work and I printed out my results and every single last one of them came back that I was in good. I was in the areas that I need to be in. So I was like, okay. And I wasn't nervous my whole time at all. I wasn't nervous the whole um, time. I was excited, but I didn't want people. At first, I wasn't going to do this like I'm doing now on YouTube and record it. And stuff like that. I didn't want nobody to know. Because I was like, what are people going to say? Are they going to they gonna think this? Are they going to gonna say this? They're going to try to talk me out of it. So at first I was like, I'm not going to tell nobody. I'm just going to be gone, you know, from work for a week or whatever. And then come back. And it is what it is. It already be done. But then I had to think about it. And I said, you got to stop trying to live for others. That's what we have to stop doing. Like, let's see. We have to stop trying to live for what others want for us. No, we have to start doing what's what's good for ourselves. So I was like, you know what? There's not a lot of people. Every time I look up on these channels, there's not a lot of people that are thicker that are getting it. You're either 140, either you're skinny, or you just like 180. Um, and that's good. You, you, if you want to lose weight, you can do that. Um, I'm in the process of losing weight now, but I'm not trying to lose them. I'm probably trying to lose 20 pounds and call it a day because my body is already where I want it. But you can always improve on your body regardless. So I was like, just let me do that. Let me let me let me decide something for myself that I want for myself. So y'all yeah, need to remember, don't don't care about the next person. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh you don't need to and da, da, da. you should love yourself the way you are just because you just because you're trying to improve on your body don't mean you don't love yourself so that's on period like you can still love yourself very much and want to improve on yourself that's just like with anything you can love school you can love this but you always gonna want to improve on it you don't want to improve your grade you may love this subject but you may have a b in it you want an a you do what you can to improve it so I wanted to improve my body in a different way and get my fat sucked out and transferred to the air, period. So after my test results came back good and I got down there, when I got down there, that was the first time I can honestly say I was nervous. The day, the day of, I was like, okay. But then I told y'all the story about how that was getting irritating my soul because I wasn't doing it. I wasn't, I was on a different time clock in my head than it was in reality. But it still got done. And I could tell you my process was so smooth. It was so smooth. I had no complications. I had no infections, thank God. Um, my scars healed back. Like here's one of my scars. My scars healed back. Here's another one. Or is that my birthmark? And I have another scar right here. 
my scars held back good very good um i don't care about if they were dark if they got dark and stuff like that people was like they gonna scar i don't care they're miniature scars anyway like i don't just show my body like that so i'm pleased with my decision i'm glad i did it there wasn't there's nothing that can change my mind there's nothing that can make me regret what i did there's nothing that can i prayed on it and i'm content with it myself which is what y'all have to be content with it because i have a lot of questions like why did you do it my reasons are my reasons you need to do it for yourself if you want it if you can afford it and you want to do it do it there's no if ands about it um i had I was in bare minimum pain the whole time. Like the scars and stuff didn't hurt. The only thing that was starting to hurt was when I was, after a few weeks after surgery, I was sleeping on my stomach. And sometimes like if I ate before, I would feel like I have to throw up. So that's really the only thing like, the throwing up part was like the, uh, but I didn't throw, I never threw up. Um, but it just felt like it was going to come up like it was right there because I was sitting on my stomach. And the only part that got to me was to not sitting down on my butt for six weeks. That's what got to me. After time, after like three weeks, I was like, okay, I'm about to just sit on it and mess it up because to just wait and all this long, just, just sit on your butt, it's too long. But I'm glad I didn't and I'm glad I waited and my results didn't get go down just too much. They did go down, but probably like I probably lost like 10 maybe 15 percent of my booty but I would do it again I would do it again soon if I could which I can but I would do it again but I'm gonna wait till after I have kids so well yes so that is my reasonings you have yours uh if you have any questions or comments y'all can Email me like I've been doing or DM me on Instagram, which would be a better choice. So, yes. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Your girl's going nowhere but up from here on dot, period. And birthday vlogs coming up. Apartment tours coming up. I have a lot of stuff coming up. And since I'm gonna be in my own place and stuff like that, I'm probably gonna do more videos. So comment, comment, comment more videos that y'all wanna see from me. Come on, do it now. What are you waiting for? Some story times. What kind of story times do y'all want from me? And yeah, so thank y'all for tuning in. We ain't going nowhere but up. I love y'all so, so, so much. And to see.